Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video showing a progress bar working with threads. So I'm going to just demonstrate it and then we'll look at the code. And that looks like three separate progress bars, but effectively it's the same one resuming after being interrupted by the first thread. So I'm still learning threads and they're one of the key features of or concurrency is one of the key features of Rust, so worth learning. Although maybe confusing if you come from a, another language where they're not so widely used. Um, we've got the first thread here. So I'm not using MPSC or anything. We're just using use standard thread. So the KDAM basically is providing you, if you're familiar with Python and TQDM, it's effectively giving you the same functionality. We've got handle, handle one, which is spawning the first thread. And that's the one that's counting between one to two to three at 400 millisecond intervals and saying received. In between times, we've got the second thread, which is continuously updating the progress bar from 0 up to 100. And it's doing it at 0 0.04 second intervals and doing updates. So PB is the progress bar. That's just the variable name. And you do actually use TQDM macro there. At the end, use handle one dot join and handle two dot join and wrap. Um, if you don't use the handle with join at the end, then you can get issues where your main code will not complete. So by modifying the values in there, you can get different varying results. So by by changing the timings, you could make the um, the progress bar complete quicker. Uh, let's, in fact, let's just for fun, let's make that um, let's make that a really small time interval. Let's make that one millisecond, and that should complete four times as quickly. There you go. So I think uh, having a progress bar looks nice, especially if you. Now, this is just counting from 0 to 100. The next thing to do would be to actually make it update in real time. For instance, if you uh, if you had a stream or if you were opening a large file. So that's probably something to look into. But for now, I just wanted to demo the progress bar. You can also get a color gradient one as well. So it depends how pretty you want to make it. But yeah, there you go. Progress bar in Rust.